We're here. <laughs> we finally made it to the MB factory. It has been almost an entire decade of me dreaming about this and we're finally here. I'm going to be giving you guys a complete run through through the entire new facilities and letting you guys know what I want to do to each and every space. So without further ado, welcome to the MB factory. Okay, now I'm at the front door right now, as you can tell, but I need you guys to picture everything that I'm about to mention, because this place kind of looks like a piece of junk right now. If you come over here to the left side, you have this huge space. It's about 15 feet of space out wide that we could use for anything, but we decided to make it into a lounge area, which only means it's right if I put a couch right in front of you guys right now, maybe a little coffee table where we could lay our drinks and whatnot. Speaking of drinks, energy drinks, I have to have a place for them. So so picture a little mini fridge with a whole lot of energy drinks and uh, a little coffee section right here so we could just have a whole bunch of fuel to be energized enough for these videos. Up here we'll have a TV, speakers, there's gonna be a whole console area. It's just an entertainment center. This is where we'll have most of the fun that doesn't include making content or make it, maybe it does. We'll definitely come in clutch when we need to just relax and get our mind off of certain things. On good days I'll probably just put some donuts up here and have the team munch a little bit. Look, crumble cookie, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I am addicted to crumble cookie anyways. I mentioned there was 15 feet of space right here for the lounge area. I need you guys to picture a whole wall right here where this green bag is, a whole wall right here. And then another wall over here on this space, this is gonna be another wall, 11 feet out wide and then 10 feet up top, which is gonna be pretty tall. So if we come over here, we have the main section. You guys can tell right away. This section right here is the biggest section out of all the sections in this suit. Out of all six sections in the studio, yes, I did mention six sections, but this one right here, probably my favorite. I can't wait to film my first video in it. Uh, who knows what it'll be, but I, I'm just so excited to even create videos in this spot. And the fact that we have this entire studio to just be as efficient as we possibly can, it thrills me inside because I'm like, damn, this entire studio just to create content and put it out to you guys. Like who would have ever thought? Seriously, coming from a small apartment to this, it's a huge upgrade. And I, I truly, truly, truly appreciate each every person that's hearing me out right now like thank you so much another thing is this is a huge pull right here we're gonna have to do something because i can't have this thing in the dead center of my section where i'm gonna be filming most of my videos so you guys will see something happen here that's what you guys will see further on throughout the series but this right here big no-no let's go on to the next section of the studio all right so big wall right here just like our lounge area we have 15 feet on this side and this is gonna be one of my favorites this is a distribution area if you guys don't know what a distribution area is i am basically going to ship out all the orders that come in from martybuns.com everything is going to be on here so imagine an inventory rack right here we could potentially just put a ladder in here when you guys order grab have next to the wall right here i want this huge packing desk where we could just pack have our computer up there and then just grab the boxes and whatnot it's this whole little distribution area in my mind right now but i'm going to make it come to life you guys have to stick around for the whole series trust me it's going to be worth it okay so i need to tell you guys why i chose this spot as a distribution area. When UPS comes through and we need to distribute all the orders out to you guys, we'll basically put them in a bin like this. Not this one, this is a trash. <laughs> this is the back area of our studio. We could roll this up, UPS comes through, we'll place all your orders in there. <laughs> just have it so efficient to the point where we could just grab, pack, go. Grab, pack, go every morning. Everything just works out perfectly. So that was just half of the studio we have right now. Remember I told you guys, lounge area, chilling, watching videos, playing games, getting our mind free free from work because at the end of the day your mind has to be as clear as vision now main area right here where we have the freedom to record anything without a problem huge amount of space from that pool right there to the end of this there's endless possibilities that we could do there so just the fact that we have that much space is mind-blowing now we have a restroom right here it's gonna be up to right here from that end of the wall to right here and then we have a back door right there hand wash area with a whole little shelf right here or something I have no idea what it's gonna be to be honest they just told me it was gonna be a hand wash area so I'm like all right cool okay next you guys might be wondering what in the world are these poles right here like what are these things doing these all these all the way over here all right so now we're back at square one front door remember I told you guys about the staircase that's gonna come up around right here and then end at this post just a staircase which means we have all of this right here acting as a two-story which is called a mezzanine I didn't know this before trust me I'm learning as we go but that's called a mezzanine and what we're gonna be building up there is an office I 
am extremely excited for that. All the editing and whatnot is gonna happen upstairs. So just imagine I am taking the staircase, in this case, a ladder. Coming up here, imagine I'm up here on the mezzanine and I'm just walking around. I am gonna pretend like I'm not scared right now, but I am bricks, man. This space right here is gonna be a conference area. We have a conference table coming in with a TV right here. And if the whole team needs to meet, all the editors, all the managers, everyone that is involved in the team just meets up here, sits down, and we talk content, business, and uh, this is where we do all of that. This floor right here that I told you guys to imagine extends all the way to that pole out there, where I told you guys the stairs would end. There's gonna be multiple desks out there, so all the editors and everybody could work from there. Main working area, the place where I'll be literally 24 seven. This is the room that I wanna make feel at home. At the same time, I know I'm gonna be spending a lot of time up here and I want it to have a bunch of like greenery so it could come to life. A place where you could work, a place where you're comfortable and you're able to fulfill everything that comes within the creativity side of your mind, <laughs> if that makes sense. That was only four out of six sets that we have in the studio. Let's go on to the fifth one. The bottom portion has two different sets. This is gonna be a room. Now I probably beat that out because I don't want you guys to know yet. I actually do want to get that done and I want to bring it to life, so stay tuned. This space right here from this pole right here to this right here. Do you guys remember where I'd sit down right here? You know, I'd sit down with the white wall with the camera in front of me and then the, the white desk and it was just like me talking to the camera and well, those sit down videos will be recorded right here. I have a room just for head talk in this studio. This doesn't get any better. Like seriously, imagine a stationary camera right up here if I need to unbox something on the table boom unbox it blah, blah 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 not only a camera right there where you guys are at but one up top so I could just press record press record boom 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 go upstairs and press publish it's as sufficient as you could get final finishing little touch to this place is I don't know if you guys have ever seen but there's a lot of staircases that have empty space underneath them there is gonna be a full camera arsenal right here with all these camera bags or lenses and charging stations so we can just plug all of our equipment that you guys are watching through right now have every little gimbal have every little camera lens and everything charging and in its place so we are organized grab whatever we need throughout the day and just leave and film some content i'm telling you guys this is going to be the extreme youtube dream studio mb factory type everything i've ever wanted i'm so happy i'm finally here I just want you guys to know to never belittle yourself because we came from a very small city and a very, very small room and we turned it into this. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Now that's been part one out of three episodes in this series. So you might want to stick along because this junk right here is going to turn into my dream YouTube studio. So we'll have three episodes and then the grand reveal where I want to show you guys everything that I put into this place. So stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next one. Welcome to the MB Factory series.